And we're back. Back into part two. We left off at, we were getting GLM for doing 3D math, OpenGL Mathematics. So basically what this does is it's a just a little header library that has a bunch of math functions and it lines up with GLSL, which is the OpenGL shader language. So you can do your stuff in C++ or in GLSL and it's the same. So you can just like makes it nicer for passing stuff to the graphics card back and forth. So we want to go ahead and grab this. Where's the download? It's right here. So I'm going to save this into my downloads. And we're just going to open her up. Extract it all. Nothing to compile here, of course, it's just a header. So the only thing we've had to compile so far is GLFW, which is our windowing system. Next, we're going to get this STB image for loading textures. I think it's header only as well. Uh, image from this guy. There's other ways to do this. Like, I think people also, you can. People use other image loading stuff too, like uh, SDL has an image loader, so you could use that one in theory instead. But the cool thing about this is it's just really small. Uh, wow, he's got a lot of stuff here. I think I only need this, but some of this might be pretty nice. I'll have to look into it more. For now, I am just going to do the image. Because I think that's all I need. Okay, so yeah, this is important. You have to make something for this to compile into, which is sort of interesting. We're going to go ahead and. So I went to raw, and now I'm going to hit control D, no, control S. Come on, I'm waiting for the save dialog. Control S, no. Well, I suppose the other way to do this is to select all, do a copy, do it with some program, I guess. Like Notepad plus plus should be able to do it. Just paste it all in there. Well, seven thousand line file. Jeez. Okay, so I think basically what this does, this STV image, is it has all the algorithms you need to load in a bunch of different types of images like PNGs, bitmaps, JPEGs, etc, etc. So it's just all done in one file, which is pretty nice. So we're going to do a save. I'm going to put in my downloads, call it stbimage.h. So that's a pretty roundabout way of saving this file, but it's the job done. So there it is. Okay, so we've got that. Now the last thing is a simp for loading meshes and models. A simp, I'm going to go ahead and get a simp real quick, because then you just compile it for your version. There's a lot of work being done on this. Okay, so if we clone the master, we should be able to do this. Let's just download the zip. All right, and we're going to work off the master. There's the master. We'll go back to CMake. And we'll do the thing. Um, what do we need? We need downloads. There's the master. Oh, I should probably actually go into it. Yep, there we're good. And we're going to make that build folder. Go into it. Okay. And we'll configure. Why this is configuring, we'll do a little reading. I wonder how much they make on pay. 126 a month. 
really that's it for this giant of a project expected a little bit more 120 bucks a month to maintain this massive library that millions of people use probably I'm a little surprised okay so there we, we did the configure we did that setup and now we just want to go into it go into build find that solution we configured for 2019 so succeeded. Boom. Alright, much better. Okay, here we go. It's in debug though. I thought we were in release. Oh no, we need to compile it as a release. Okay, hold the phone. We need to make sure it's release and 64-bit. That's actually rather important. So we're going to go back in here. Uh, we're going to go to s uh, Yeah, we'll go to build, reopen the solution, not in 2017. Oh, God. Alright, I'm getting tired of starting to make, make silly mistakes. Okay, open with 2019. I forgot to change these up here, I think. Yeah. I need to change this to release. Go back down here. And I need to do a clean. So that's why I wasn't finding it. I was looking for this release folder. And we're going to go ahead and build it. Alright. So this is what we want. I mean, debug's nice. If you're. Debug's nice if I was like working on on this ascent importer because that'd be debugging it and trying to fix it but I'm not trying to I'm just trying to use it so that's why I want the release version and not the debug the debug will just be bigger compiling stuff's not too bad once you get used to it these guys have it all set up all right still chugging away just checking if I got any any new happenings. It's even got an Unreal loader, apparently. TerraGen loader, STL loader, SM loader. Oh my god, this is dragging on. This is going to be a monolith of a video to edit. Okay, succeeded. Release 64. Get code? Was it in code? Yeah, code release. Okay, so this is what we need. So we're good. A simp is now ready. And it sees it. Okay. I'm going to stop here. We're essentially ready to start coding up the project. We've got pretty much everything that we uh, that we wanted to get going. We've got it all set up. We need we do need to do the linking. Um, also need to do the linking for a simp. So anything that you compile like that, you also have to link. And that is in the properties. It is under linker somewhere, and you basically point it to those libraries. So we'll probably cover that at the beginning of the next video, beginning of the next part. And hey, man, this is this is what being a dev is like. If you're not using Unity or Unreal, and you want to do your own custom stuff, this is where you're at. All right, peace out.